Right, well, I'm sitting in the uh, RV camper here with uh, my good friend John Dog, who, unlike me, is a real Manxman. Uh, I'm a, an adopted Manxman, or what they call a come over, or when I, but that's a subject of another video. Uh, enough to be said, I've lived here long enough to have a lot of gratitude to live in this wonderful place. Now, here we are on Boxing Day or St Stephen's Day. St Stephen's Day, yeah. 26th of December to show you something very special about the Isle of Man. But first of all, I'll hand over to John to explain uh, a little bit of the background of this festival called Hunt the Wren. Now, why is it called that, John? Uh, the Wren is the king of the birds, uh -huh. according to Manx tradition. And it's the king of the birds because they decided to have a competition. And the winner would be named crowned king. So the competition was to see who could fly the highest. So the, the wren is a crafty bird, so what, what happened was everybody knew that the golden eagle was going to win. He'd be able to fly the highest. So the wren hid in the feathers on his back. And they all set off and they all dropped out. And eventually the um, golden eagle flew as high as he could and shouted, I'm the king of the birds. And the wren come from out of his feathers and flew, <laughs> and flew higher than him and said, no, you aren't. Lovely. I'm the king of the birds. <laughs> So then the wren is the king of the birds. Now, I'm not 100% certain why, but they, the, the birds, the feathers of the bird are supposed to be very lucky. So on uh, Boxing Day morning, St. Stephen's Day, Shelgen Dreen is the man's name. Shelg is Hunt and Dreen the wren. Uh -huh. uh, they go on a, a, a wren hunt and the wren is only a small bird can't fly very far and uh, if it gets in bushes and you get a lot of people uh, they can actually catch it uh -huh. and, and uh, there's a there's a very very long poem called hunt the wren let's hunt the wren said robin the bobbin let's hunt the wren said richard the robin let's hunt the wren said jack of the land let's hunt the wren said everyone is the first verse and it goes on and there's dozens and dozens of verses so we meet to celebrate uh, Hunt the Wren uh, every St Stephen's Day morning and we we start, uh, like I'm in, we're in Michael's, so we start at the Mitre just up the road mm -hmm. at 11. We then go to the Raven in Blaff, which is just down the road, and then we go to the Sulby. Now it has to These be, are pubs, by the these way. Are, yeah. Yes, the pubs, uh, uh, the yeah. Mitre Hotel, the uh, Raven Hotel and the Sulby Glen Hotel pubs. And uh, it has to be done by 12. So we're 11 o'clock at the Mitre, 11.20 at the mm -hmm. Raven, and 11.40 at the Silver Which is very soon because it's half yeah. past 10. Yes. Yeah. So, so, uh, so we'll, we'll set off, and it's a, it's a dance. They have a wren pole. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have a wren pole, and it's, it's a garlanded pole, and there's usually a, a, something that represents a dead wren hanging in it, and it's, it's greeny, similar yeah. to... Uh, uh, Christmas greenery and, and baubles well, It and reminds so me a lot of the ones I've seen in Sweden as well where they actually they celebrate midsummer but uh, they have a similar sort of you know with a ball yeah. uh, on yeah. a stick yeah well so so that so that's in the middle of the circle and the circle is basically partners and you go round one way round the other way and then the ladies go in the gents go yeah. in and then you do a dance together and you, you do that maybe four or five times and we're just celebrating here and then we go yeah. down we do the same thing so we bring all our stuff down and then rosie at the sylvie Glen is very generous and puts on a uh, mulled wine and, oh, and so on can't stay too long because I've got to get away and get to St John's mm -hmm. because in St John's on the Fairfield is the annual Camag game ah so Camag is um, I suppose uh, it, you could call it killer hockey it's, <laughs> it's a free for all with sticks and I've, this is one stick I've got ah so this is what this is about that's yeah. what this is about ah. there's another stick both of these are 
holly. Uh, some people say that um, what do you call it's best? Uh, ghost bone, yeah. ghost stick, uh, and I've got this one. This one is a oh, that's uh... this, this is a <laughs> bit of a weapon, yeah. and I, I've named this one Bess, which is a Manx word for death. 